Howard Daniel here from the Next Tissue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Seven Sons Number One. This is a new book from Image Comics, uh, which features the return to uh, not only creator own but also interiors for Jay Lee, uh, the artist. But let's take a look at the full creative team. Uh, so this book is written by Robert Windham and Kelvin Mao, with art by Jay Lee, colors by Yoon Jun Chung, and lettering by Simon Bolin. Uh, and look at this weird cover. I love that. I think Jay Lee's art is perfect for this book. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the premise, and then we'll get into why the the art fits so well. <clears throat> Delph, a young man, may be this who may be the second coming of Christ, runs for his life as he attempts to learn the truth behind his existence. So you can already tell this book is going to go weird places. Uh, and it starts with the opening page. Here we see July 7, 1998, new Kanan, uh, maybe, uh, hopefully I'm saying that right, or maybe I'm saying it like the Star Wars character, uh, formerly Las Vegas. Here you can see definitely, if you've been to Las Vegas, you recognize the sign. But as you can see, the imagery has been changed. A lot of religious undertones now uh, and everything. And I think Jay Lee really captures that. He's very adept at giving us this symmetrical look to the pages, uh, and you can really kind of tell in all that, all, th all throughout the art. Uh, <clears throat> and I think the art really pairs well with all the all the coloring that we see here, uh, how the light kind of changes behind these documents, the airplanes, all the cross imagery, uh, very, very interesting. Now, when it comes to the story, it is definitely a little weird, a little convoluted, there's a lot happening here that you need to catch up on. There's a lot of a little bit of exposition here because this is a world similar to ours, but not really the same, uh, right? As we can see here, the city uh, once known for sin is now known for uh, these religious undertones. Uh, and like I said, I love Jay Lee's design for the city uh, with the birds, the big statues. Just it is amazing. I, I, I hadn't seen interiors like this from him in a long time. Uh, and I just, one of the reasons I really like Jay Lee's work is, uh, I, I love the way he sets up, uh, big images like that, just of big static items, um, like these, these statues and which is one of the reasons I'm very, um, I'm always looking for his variant covers. Uh, so it's really cool to see him do work on interiors because you get to see a different side of that. Uh, and as we can see here on this last page. You see here the, the little panel layouts. This is all very different to some of the images we were looking at before. It's very, uh, as as much as it is um, uh, weird looking, kind of like the, the things we set up, this is completely different from the big bright lights, big statues. This is kind of a mucky, dirty underground uh, where we find this character. So like I mentioned, the story, it seems, it sets up a very interesting mystery uh, in a really weird world. I, it's hard to describe without going too much into spoilers, but I highly recommend if you want something weird and off the beaten path, you can check this book out. Uh, I would recommend picking this up just based on Jay Lee's art. Uh, but you guys let me know, what did you think about Seven Sons? Is this something that kind of, you know, something that you want to check out, something that you may check out in the future. Uh, if you read the book, let us know exactly how you feel. Uh, and if you have any questions, maybe we can work out on what story, what, what's happening with the story together. Uh, so yeah, very excited to see where this goes. Um, so as always, thanks for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live that is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.